creating a project for our video course here, I'm going to use the IntelliJ IDE and simply select uh, create a new project. You can do this using IntelliJ or your IDE or even the command line, which is a, requires a little bit more of setup. But I would um, recommend you to use an IDE. So here I can select a, a project name, which I'm going to call Spark Video Course Python and select the um, location where it's supposed to be created. And for the language, I'm going to select Python. And we're going to work with a new virtual environment and using base interpreter uh, Python 3.9. If I create, the IDE will create a new project for me. And I will set this to <clears throat> full screen mode. And also I will use the presentation mode here, appearance and then and the presentation mode. So on the left, we have our project structure, which is empty. So here, the IDE has already created a virtual environment folder for us, which is called vnf. And now the first step to setting up our project is to add dependencies to the Spark um, yeah, package. This one we can remove. And to add library dependencies for the virtual environment, we create a new file. So a file, uh, which we are going to call requirements.txt. And in here we can specify which requirements um, we need to execute our Python project here. Now on the Spark website, so spark.apache.org, under documentation and then select the latest release, which is 3.5.0, which we're going to work with, you can see down here some specifications uh, or requirements to the runtime. And for Python, it says we need Python 3.8 or newer, and we selected 3.9, so we should be fine. And the second thing I wanted to show you is the pyp.org web website, where we can basically search for Python packages, which we can add to our projects. And in here, we are going to type PySpark to find the yeah, version that we're going to use in our project. So we are going to use PySpark 3.5.0. And this we can now put into our requirements file. So we say PySpark and then two equal signs, which will fix the version to 3.5.0. And now the IDE probably complains that this is not installed. So we basically need to install this one. Now, of, after having set up um, the requirements file, we can now install this package, either by using the command line or the IDE. I'm going to do it using the command line so that you, so that you can see um, how this would work. So I will um, move to the directory workspace professional, or it's the other way around, professional workspace and then spark video course Python. And in here, I can see that there is this directory vnf. So in order to enter the virtual environment, I can run source vnf and then bin activate. And now I can see that I am in this virtual environment and in here I run now Python, py Python 3 and going to use the package pip, um, which is used for managing uh, packages and dependencies. And I'm going to say minus M. So I use the package and then the command install minus R for the requirements file. And I'm going to pass in the name for the requirements file. Now what's going to happen? is that pip is downloading PySpark from the um, yeah, host, which hosts the package, and will add it to our Python environment so that we can use it within our project. Now this will be available to the um, IDE as well, because we are using the very same virtual environment. And once it's done, I can head over to the IDE. And we can go to the project settings. And here, I still need to specify which JD or which um, 
software development kit I would like to use. So under software development kits, kit, kits, um, there has already been created one for us, which is called PySpark Video, uh, Spark Video Course Python, Python. And we are going to use this one, which is already referring to the virtual environment that we have seen in the command line as well. Now we can select this one here as well. So within our project settings, there's also the SDK which we would like to use. So I have to specify here our SDK which has been created from our virtual environment. Let's go back to the terminal and actually it has completed. So now we have um, changed the SDK in our project. So it will index again the virtual environment we have been using on the command line and now it already recognized that PySpark is already installed. So we have a working setup for our project. And I would like to ask you to do the very same thing in your project as an assignment to this video.